Tom. Hi, Tom. And we are at Bayramolu Donar. We hear one of the hottest Donar spots in Istanbul. Let's give it a try. First time we're going out on a Donar quest. Tom is my friend from California. He's in town visiting. It's been a blast hanging out going around, seeing different things, seeing somebody who doesn't know Turkey, who's like, oh, this stuff is really different, when I'm like, this stuff is really normal. So, what we've got here in the background is, it is busy. I mean, one of the hallmarks of this place, they serve a ton of people every day. Uh, we'll get the exact number and we'll put it right here. That's how many people it is. This place uh, is pretty famous. I mean, just, you know how they have the Google reviews? It's got like 10,000 or something. The Donair here is pretty fantastic. I think the magic of this place is that for the amount of people that they serve, they do a really good job. You can see back there, there's actually two different stations where they're cooking Donair. We've been in here I mean, for a while now, and it's just packed. I mean, it's definitely the lunch rush, but this place is huge. And I mean, if you can see all the guys just running around back here, this is like a well-oiled machine. I mean, the speed that the food comes out, uh, the level of service is just incredible. But the important thing is, how is the donair? So if you look over here, we've got maybe a nice little salad, cucumbers, tomatoes, the little peppers in there. They give you French fries, which they also give you refills on. So if you think you're cool in America because you get a soda refill, we get a French fry refill. I'll take French fries over sodas any day. That's what I like. And then here we've got onions with sumak. So sumak is a uh, spice that, it doesn't actually have spice, it has a tanginess, kind of like a lemon. They do this flatbread here called lavash uh, in kind of a big like clay oven. They stick it on the side. It's hot, fresh. Um, it's got kind of that, it's a little crispy on the edges, but it's soft and almost like elastic. Like the way the bread feels, it's, it's pretty fantastic. So doner wise, we got a portion here of doner. There it is, that's the good stuff. So they do a blend here of beef and lamb. Some places just do beef, uh, but they also use lamb here. And you can tell, I mean, if you're a fan of lamb, you're really gonna like this donair. Now, are they actually blending the meat together? Donair is typically made by a bunch of sliced meat stacked on top of each other. They're stacking different layers on top of each other, basically. It doesn't look like they've ground it and then pressed it together. Like, you know how the gyro meat in America, it's almost like just a uniform like piece of meat. This has like layers in it. I know Hero, but I don't know Donair. Hero is almost like a, like they make a meat out of it. Yeah, this looks it's like, like compressed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's just all these different layers here, which here I'll, I'll try to get a little bit here, show you guys. So, how to actually do this. So a lot of ingredients here you can put on the Donair. You got some crushed red pepper. Give it a whip. Mm, that smells good. <laughs> I'm hilarious, you can laugh. Uh, and then there's this guy, smell it, what do you think it is? It smells like oregano. And you are correct. Ah. Ding, ding, to the ding. So, are those the flowers, I've never seen it like Okay, I've never seen it like this either. It actually looks like pops. Like, yeah. check this out. Like little baby little, pine cones. Little pine cones, exactly. <laughs> yeah, a little piece like this. Once you crumble it, do that in your fingers there. Oh yeah. There it is. There's the oregano we know and love. Fresh. No. It smells good. <laughs> so we're going to take a little bit of the bread here. We're going to put a little meat in it. Let's just load this guy up. So we'll put a little bit of onions with the sumac in it. That was a really big onion. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. And we're going to do a little bit of the oregano. Do a little bit of pepper. Just like that. That's where the magic is. Really good. Yeah? How's it taste? It's delicious. Come on over. Oh. Refill. Oh, look at that. There you go. I love how much flavor there is in, in the meat. It's got the, even the meat itself has got like a tanginess to it. Totally. But uh, it doesn't taste, it's not gamey at all. Yeah, yeah. You just taste how they taste the grill, the, yeah. the, the char on it as well. The char in here is really good. So they cook their donair here on wood coals. And it looks like in the back, when I went and looked, it's like they've got the coals in there, and it's almost like they've got a blower on the back, just getting it super, super hot. But man, this lavash is really fresh. You can hear the crunch. Because sometimes when like a tortilla or a flatbread is dry, and you try to wrap it, it like cracks and yeah. like falls out, but because it's got that um, elasticity from the glutens, I'm guessing. Good stuff here. Yeah, let's do a little more. I'm gonna try it. Are there rules about what does and does not go in? Can I put some of the salad in there? There's not really rules. You can kind of do what you want. So you see how these are cut in half? 
if you take a whole one yeah. and you wrap the meat up in it, they call that a duru, like a little burrito. Yeah. And in those, you'll find tomatoes, pickles, onions, and french fries too, they throw in there. So if you wanted to throw a french fry or two on top of that, I don't think anybody would be mad about it. But here you go, why don't you, why don't you go ahead and grab a little more and make yourself a little roll of deliciousness. Here. I'm going to think outside the box. I'm going to do a couple of fries. There you go. Custom donut. I'm going to try some of that salad too. I see this chili all over turkey. What makes this chili different? Because it's not, it's not crazy spicy, but it yeah. just adds a great flavor. Yeah, so this is a crushed red pepper flake. They call it pulpy bear. Okay. One of the things you'll notice from just looking at it is there's no seeds in it. So because I think they process it in a certain way, it adds a nice flavor without a lot of heat. I mean, you can get this at different spice levels. Like, it can have um, a lot of heat in it. But it's funny, even the peppers, yeah. they're called Sibri Bibak. And as we've talked about as we've been out and about, you never know if they're going to be spicy or not. Like, sometimes they're very mild, very pleasant, and sometimes they're like a jalapeno or yeah. maybe even hotter. So, um, always a surprise. That's great. The, the freshness of the tomato brings that a little bit more acidity, and the meat too, that tang, is so good. So the thing I like about this donaire, I mean, when you try it, it's, it's just solid. So if you kind of rate it on a scale of one to 10, it's way up there. It's maybe not, oh, this is the most unique, or this is, it's funny, I think in America especially, we look for something that's like, where is it just crazy? Like, how did they really accentuate this profile? This is just what you'd want in a good solid donaire, but at a very high level. So the, and everything is like that. I mean, the salad is really well done. The French fries are really well done. Uh, the lavash, the flatbread is really well done. Uh, and the fact that they can do it like this, at scale, so fast, is just is mind-blowing. I mean, it, it's as if, just seeing what they're doing right now, I don't think I'm going to come here and be like, well, maybe they're going to be off today. Right. It's like, this place just looks like they never have an off day. Got it, got it. Now, this is kind of a dumb question, I guess, but like, what happens when they go through? Because the, the meat itself is called the donair, right? Like, that's the now for so, like, do they have to cook ahead of time, or do they just put it on there as raw meat and it's just it's always cooking all the time? Should I just ask, like, ten or more questions while you're, while you're keep chewing? <laughs> Sorry, I was in the zone there, enjoying that. <laughs> yeah, so the donair is actually put on their raw. All the raw sliced meat, and they just start cooking it from the outside in. So that's why it's good. Donair actually just means like turning, basically. It just keeps turning. So they keep rotating it, getting it cooked, charring it, slicing it off, you know? And so they slice it, not all the way into where it's raw, but it's just, you know, they're they just keep slicing and slicing and slicing it. So, yeah, so, that's how they cook so it. So a place like this, you know you're always going to get it fresh because they're going through it all the time. Exactly. I mean, as you look around the restaurant, like, what do you notice here, just, you know, coming from America? Well, one thing I notice here, especially, but you know, honestly, the, even the other restaurants we've been here since here in Turkey, is uh, just how many staff there are working. I mean, the service yeah. level is incredible. As soon as you need something, there's somebody here. And there's even always supervisors going around making sure that, uh, that people are being attended to. Uh, it's crazy. When we first got in here, I think there was almost more staff than there were people in the restaurant. And now I know why, because with this place being packed out, yeah. they make sure that it keeps coming out all the time. So totally. totally. Awesome. What do you think? Delicious, man. That was great. That was pretty fantastic. I mean, the thing that I love about that place is that just with everything that's going on, how busy it is, and the system they've got, in my mind, it's like every time I go there, I get the same plate of food. They never missed a beat. I can't imagine Seriously. it's going to be any different day or night. Yep. Well-oiled machine, delicious donut. Bye, Ramalba.